treatment and I'm still very much in the nesting phase. So today I want <laughs> so it's calling me now. So today I want to wash and sterilize the bottles. By the way, can you guys see the size of my belly? Can you see? Hmm. When it's not if I'm carrying twins, it's only one. Look at just look at how big my belly is. Anyways, so today I want to wash and sterilize the bottles. Hello. Hi. And these are the bottles I have available for now. So these bottles are as yeah. new <laughs> because when I had yeah. my first baby, the one that is making noise over there, he no. he barely used any of these bottles. He's that child that refused to drink anything from bottle. Breast milk from bottle, no way. Formula from bottle, no way. He just enjoyed putting his mouth to my breast. So he didn't really use any of these bottles. But there's one particular bottle that he eventually got used to, which is this one, Philips Avent. He used the life out of this bottle. Can you see the mouth? Yeah, so I think I need to discard this one or just buy another cover for it. But these ones are from Tommy TP. So I'm just going to wash them. I don't think I need to buy any other bottle for now. But if the baby doesn't like this Tommy TP brand, then I might eventually buy the Philips Avent or any other brand. But right now I'm just going to wash the ones that I have available. I also have some parts of my breast pump here. So these are some of the parts of the breast pump which I also need to wash and sterilize as well. This is the breast pump. I'm not going to wash this part, I just need to wipe it down. The breast pump is also from Tommy TP. And I also have the warmer here, which is also from Tommy TP as well. And then the sterilizing unit is also from Tommy TP. Basically everything I have here is from Tommy TP. I actually need to descale this sterilizing unit. Look, I don't think I remember how to descale it. And I don't know where the instruction manual for this thing is. So I guess I have to check. Google, but I definitely need to discard it. Then I have my hot water flax here. This is something I will use to put hot water. As you know, after having a baby, it's not really advisable to drink cold water or cold drinks. So I normally put some hot water in here so that whenever I need water to drink, I'll just pour from here and maybe add some cold water to dilute it and then I'll drink. Some more bottles and another part of the breast covers. So for the bottle today, I'll be using this melting baby bottle cleaner. So this is something that you use to wash baby bottles, breast pump, um, basically all the baby's feeding equipment. So instead of using the normal dish washing soap, you use this because it helps to remove milk residue so yeah this is what i'll be using i have the bottle brush here so i've already washed the sink i'm just going to fill it up with some water and start washing the bottles
so i'm done sterilizing the bottles so how this thing works is that when you turn it on it starts a five minute cycle and after five minutes it shuts off and then you have to leave it for another five minutes to cool down before you can use the bottles so this is what i normally use to pick the bottles out remember the bottles are now sterile so you have to minimize the way you handle it so to pick the bottles out i normally use this thing to pick it out so i'm just going to leave this to cool down for now and i'll put it somewhere ready for use when the baby comes so these are the other bottles and some parts of my breast pump that couldn't fit in here so this is something else i normally use to sterilize maybe my breast pump or if i need to sterilize just one or two bottles so i use this one to sterilize large number of bottles but if i have just one or two bottles so i want to sterilize just my breast pump i use this one so right now i'm about to wash the diaper bag i've had this diaper bag for about three years now and i just love it it's very strong i think i got it from target it has two side pockets one front pocket as well then inside it has two other side pockets inside the side pocket on this side is actually insulated so you can put the baby's milk in there or hot water for making the baby's milk i also have this um, insulated pouch this is something i will use to take hot water when i'm going out so that in case i need to make the baby's milk while i'm out the water will still be warm or hot for me to use the weather is not very sunny today, but I'm going to wash this bag today anyway. So, <laughs> I just finished filming a video and I thought I should make the baby's bed, the baby's cot or crib or whatever that is called because after today I'll be counting down in days <laughs> so I can't even wait because at this point I'm tired <laughs> so I didn't want to fix the baby's bed earlier than today because I feel like if I make the bed Samuel, my older son, will keep trying to get into the bed i also need to fix the bassinet which i'll do maybe later today or tomorrow welcome so this is the baby's bed or baby crib or baby um whatever that is called look at this one <laughs> so this is just what it looks like for now no stuffed animals no plush toys no pillows just keep it plain do you guys see what i just told you do you see so, um, that's baby's bed though. Baby bed. Yes, baby's bed. Baby yeah. bed. Baby bed. Interesting. Baby bed. Oh yeah, come out. So that's it. You see why I didn't want to make this bed earlier yeah. before now? Someone is already getting into this bed. But when you're asked to sleep here, you will not sleep here. Come out, my friend. So this is the baby bassinet right here. I call this the Moses basket. <laughs> so um, I've not actually figured which part of the room we are going to put this. But this is where the baby will be sleeping during the day for afternoon naps. Hopefully the baby likes it here because um, when I had my first baby Samuel, he didn't really like it in here. He only slept here for the first two weeks. After two weeks, you put him here, he starts screaming like somebody is pinching him. So I'm not sure, I just have to bring it out and clean it up. I'm not sure if the baby is going to like it here or not. So this side, you can pull it up like this. Like that. Yeah, it has a little tear here. But that's okay. It actually has um, some music. I'm not even sure if that is still working.
Oh so yeah, the music is still working. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> Also put together my um, what do I call it like a postpartum basket so these are just some of the items I'll be using very often when I get back from the hospital so here I have some of these um, maternity pads these are the long ones and then I have these disposable underwears they're just like your regular pants but on this side they have like a pad I'll also be taking some of these to the hospital and then I have some breast pads as well I have my nipple cream as well and then I have these two softeners as well which I'll actually be taking to the hospital but when I get back it's going to be in this basket and then I have this um, hot pack for breastfeeding which you can use hot or cold i had it in the diaper caddy before but i thought it's better off in here because these are my own personal items so this is something that you can use when you are breastfeeding especially if you have breast engorgement you can just heat it up in the microwave and place it on your breast but just make sure it's not too hot so that it doesn't burn your skin and then i also have a pack of wipes here so yeah, this is my, I'll call it a postpartum basket. Okay, so I think I'm done with all the major things that need to be sorted out for now. Except that we are here to fix the car seat and the pram or stroller. We actually have a pram, the one that Samuel used, but we are still thinking of getting a new one. Thank you guys so much for tagging along with me in this nesting journey or nesting vlog don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye